there are different ways in which we can understand ratios. To understand weighted averages, mixtures and allegations, you need to understand ratios really well. Assume there is a mixture which has two quantities A and B. The ratio of A to B is written like this. A colon B. Let's say it is 3 to 2. And in the fraction format, it can be written as 3 over 2. Given this ratio, what will be the proportion of A? What they ask us here is how big A is relative to the total quantity. So it will be the quantity of A over the quantity A plus B. This is the proportion of A. It will be equal to 3 over 3 plus 2 or 3 over 5. This will be the proportion of A given this ratio. And similarly the proportion of B will be 2 over 5. In both these cases, we are comparing one quantity with the overall quantity. There is another way in which this ratio can be interpreted. What is the percentage of A in the mixture? When we are looking at the percentage, we want to find out what percentage of the entire quantity is A equal to. So it will just be the proportion of A in percentage terms. It will equal 3 over 5 times 100. That will be 60%. 60% of the entire mixture is A. What will be the percentage of B in this mixture then? It will be 40%. So this ratio also tells us that 60% of the mixture is A and 40% is B. So if the mixture has a total of 5 units, this ratio tells us that it will have 3 units of A and 2 units of B. What if the mixture has 10 units in all? The total is multiplied with 2. Hence each of these quantities is also multiplied with 2. It will have 6 units of A and 4 units of B. And what if the mixture has 100 units? It will have 60 units of A and 40 units of B. So this ratio also tells us that the quantity of A will be a multiple of 3 or 3x and the quantity of B will be 2x. The quantities of A and B will be multiples of 3 and 2 respectively. What kind of questions do we encounter in the exams? We might be given a statement like 60% of the solution is water. How do we interpret this line? Let's say the solution weighs x liters. This tells us that 60% of x will be water. 60 over 100 times x will be the amount of water in this solution. Reducing this fraction to its simplest form, we can say that 3 fifths of the solution is water. And this indirectly tells us that 2 fifths of the solution is the rest. We don't know what the rest is, but 2 fifths of the solution is something other than water. So if we have 25 litre solution, how much of it will be the water and how much of it will be the rest? Pause the video and find out. Water will be 3 fifth of the solution. That will be 3 over 5 times 25. That will be 15 litres. And the rest will be 2 fifth of the solution. That will be 2 over 5 times 25 which equals 10 litres. This also tells us that the ratio of water to rest is 3 to 2. If we have 15 over 10, we get 3 over 2. If we divide 3x over 5 by 2x over 5, we get 3 to 2 and so on. So this percentage will also give us the ratio. And what will be the proportion of water here? It will be 3 to 5. Water over the total. This gives us an idea about the solution with respect to water. And what about the proportion of the rest of the solution? It will be 2 to 5. This gives us an idea about the solution with respect to the rest of it. This rest can be milk or gasoline or whatever. It doesn't matter. What is important is how we are able to convert from one form to another. Percent to ratio, ratio to quantity, quantity to percent and so on. Understanding this video will help you build a solid foundation for mixtures and allegation problems. 
we will cover a few more important concepts in the next lesson.